Hello, my name is Carrie, and I'm going to show you how to use the Paprika 3 Windows app to import a recipe into your collection from a website URL. What I've done so far is gone to the browser section and pasted in the URL I want to import. And I will go ahead and just click the download button in the bottom right corner. It's going to scrape the screen and find all of the pertinent information. And that was it. So let's make sure it got what we wanted um, in the right format. So let's see, it gave us the duration. Looks like it doesn't know how to calculate the total time. So that would be 50 minutes. Just guessing difficulty. It's a little bit complicated, but not too bad. So we'll stick the medium on there. I'll rate it once I've tried it out. Um, I'll throw it in a meal category. Um, we'll do Weight Watchers because it came from the Pound Dropper. Um, so it's it's a healthy recipe. Looks like it missed a little bit of formatting there. That's okay. We can come through and just clean this up. Um, it's not perfect, but I find it a lot easier to be able to look at this format and everything is visible on one screen instead of having to scroll and figure out where the ingredients are and where the instructions are. Um, and it looks like it didn't capture notes or descriptions. So let's go ahead and close the screen and see if we can uh, decide what we like to be imported into those particular categories. So we could throw this text in there. That sounds like a good description. So I will highlight it and then you can see these are the boxes, dark blue, that have been imported and description and notes that we were just talking about have not been imported. I can import the highlighted text by clicking description and it will place that text into the description box. Um, if I decided I hated how it was imported, I can reset. Um, if I am not sure I want this text there, I can go ahead and just go back to the recipe and see it again. Or if I'm happy with just the boxes that were imported, I can just go ahead and click save. But let's go ahead and add that to the description. So when I click it, it's going to import. Uh, let's see if there's any notes. Ooh, these look like good notes. Now we know our Weight Watcher values. So let's throw those in notes. I would like to see the recipe one more time before I save it in case I want to tweak it. Here's our, our notes, great. And there's our description we just imported. And it looks really good. So let's go ahead and hit save and check out our recipe. So we will look at Watch your meals and there is our new recipe. Look how cool that looks. I also really like this app because it allows us to, as we're cooking, I can just say, oh, I already did that ingredient and that ingredient. And then I can, if I want, there's this timer option. So I can say, oh, it needs to go ahead and start timing. So I don't forget if I move on to the next section and, oh, there's a 10 minute timer here. So I'll go ahead and start that so I can remember. And now my computer will tell me, or you can do this on your phone too. It's got an app, uh, Android and iOS. It's all friendly depending on your platform. But check that out. Now it'll tell me when I'm done. And I can also pin this as I'm cooking. If I want to add a side and get back to this one quicker, you can pin it. Uh-oh, it's done. <laughs> I don't think you could hear that, but that's okay. It had an alarm. And we're done. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.